Today I'm going to address an issue that we've received a lot of emails about, and that issue is Z-banding. For this example, I'll be using our duplicator i3 v2. What is Z-banding? Well, Z-banding is when periodic ridges or bands form on the outside of your print due to unintentional movement along the threaded rod of your Z-axis. The good news is that this is usually a minor problem, which can often be fixed by greasing your printer's threaded rod. Here at our workshop, we use Superlube Synthetic Grease. Superlube contains polytetrafluorothylene, or PTFE, which means it's long-lasting, waterproof, and resists temperatures up to 750 degrees Fahrenheit. On our DI3 V2, the Z-axis uses two threaded rods to move up and down. So what you want to do is choose an exposed portion of the threaded rod and apply a liberal amount of grease along the entire portion. I recommend using your finger to avoid spreading fibers onto the rod. If you want to avoid getting the grease on your skin, you may use a latex glove or something similar. Now using your control box, move the extruder over the portion you just lubricated and apply grease to the remaining portion of the threaded rod. If your printer uses two threaded rods, repeat this process on the other rod. It is also good printer maintenance to apply grease along your guide rails as well. You want to do this approximately every three to six months, but this varies based on use frequency and the climate of your workspace. Now home your axes, level your build plate, and fire up a test print. You should see a significant reduction in banding. I've included a link for a simple cylinder you can use for testing. If you're still experiencing banding after greasing your threaded rods, this may be due to slack in your rubber band belt, in which case you should tighten it by adjusting your belt tension spring, shown here. If that doesn't fix your banding issue, you likely have a bent rod and will need to replace it. I hope this video has helped those of you encountering banding issues with your prints. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and comment below with any questions or video suggestions you may have. Thanks!